Moscow has vowed to strengthen Syria's anti-aircraft defenses following Washington's most direct action in the country since its civil war began. Despite risking confrontation with the Assad regime's two main backers, Russia and Iran, earlier President Trump explained why he ordered the attack. It is in this vital national security interest of the United States to prevent and deter the spread and use of deadly chemical weapons. There can be no dispute that Syria used banned chemical weapons, violated its obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention, and ignored the urging of the UN Security Council. But the Kremlin has slammed the US missile strikes as an aggression against a sovereign state. In Tashkent, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov compared Washington's action to the 2003 invasion of Iraq. He said, of course, it was done under completely invented reasons and reminds us of the situation in 2003 when the US and the UK with some of their allies stormed into Iraq without the agreement of the UN Security Council the grossest violation of international law. But then at least they tried to present some material evidence. And this time they did not even bother to bring any facts. They were only citing some photos and speculating on photographs of children. Russia's Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev was even more explicit in his condemnation of the American action. He said the US airstrikes came within an inch of militarily clashing with Moscow.